Dasita. Hot audio unit. D A S A I T A, I think. Uh, I'll just say hot audio because I'm not going to mess up the words hot or audio. I don't know if the other one is pronounced. Uh, I have a Google Now launcher on here. Works pretty good. Slide. Well, there we go. Slide over. You can see your general Google stuff. Push your little microphone. Where's Waffle House? Here's some listings for Waffle House within four miles. Isn't that great? Waffle House, four miles away. That's where it should be. Because Waffle House is great. If you don't like Waffle House, then you can just stop watching right now. So, uh, we'll go through our settings. Standard stuff here. You got your Wi Fi, your Bluetooth. Still is a little bit crippled. Right? You can't do the, uh, You can't do like the uh, internet options, but I don't use Bluetooth or internet anyhow, so that's fine by me. More, you got airplane mode tethering, airplane mode tethering. Home, that's where you pick what launcher you want, right? I Google launcher right now, I go back to that terrible home launcher if I wanted to, but I don't like that guy, so I'm not going to do it. Display. Brightness level. This is your regular brightness, which I have at max uh, at night. And then at night, when you turn your lights on, is the level it goes to, which I have that right now. Right. So if I turn the lights off, it should go brighter. And then as soon as I hit lights on, it dims back. Wallpaper is where you can change your wallpaper. Uh, you can look at the gallery or your Google Now launcher or now this is kind of funny. Uh, so here's the, the default lot wallpapers. Like it starts with this guy, and these are your other options. Some of these are pretty cool, actually. And it's very odd because, like, you'll have these cool, very scenic-looking guys, and then out of nowhere, what have we got? Scenic, you know, pretty views, flowers, flowers, mountains, more blue stuff. The say the logo so yeah that all makes sense and then what's next in the wall I didn't add this this is already here half naked lady back to beautiful scenery beautiful scenery another lady then a car <laughs> very odd <laughs> so maybe you want that lady for your background don't know I stick to this guy because it's pretty plain and it looks like scratched up metal or something, so that's kind of cool. So, font size is normal, and it's pretty interesting is that... Oh, what if I do small? No, I don't like that. So, font size is normal. It's still pretty big. Granted, it's a 10.2 inch screen, but it looks pretty good. Uh, normally, I'd jack that side up all the way up to huge, but not here. Sound notification, ketones, volumes, app notifications. Standard stuff, right? Uh, display, we covered apps. It's your general app section, right? That's amazing. Oh, what is cool is that you can disable stuff like I did not want my Gmail on here, so I disabled it, right? Because I don't need to check my email on my head. I did try that when I first got a joint because it was cool, but it got annoying. I don't want all those notifications. Oh, speaking of that, I don't want my, uh, now that we're around, I like it when y'all leave me comments on YouTube, but I don't want those notifications popping up on my head unit. So, I'm going to block them on the head unit. My phone, I'll still get them. Hey, right, so that works. That's pretty standard Android stuff there. Storage and USB, we covered in other videos, but why not give another shot? Setting that two gigs used out of 26 so it's supposed to be 32 right so that's pretty on point there uh, let's see USB 1 is where I have my micro SD card plugged into that anchor device so far so good GPS is a built-in uh, micro SD card I guess it's behind here or maybe it's I asked the old quick 
I like to pretend his, his name is Quick, so I'm just gonna pretend it's DJ Quick. So I asked DJ Quick, and he said it was behind the screens. I don't know if it really is a card in there, or it's just like something to simulate a card. Either way, you can't do anything with it, so just leave it be. Uh, all right, so what we got now? App storage, USB memory. This is where you can just see your RAM, I guess. I can't really do anything here. I guess you can break it down stuff. I don't think there's a way to actually do anything other than just look at stuff, but I don't really care about that in this thing. Elements, cool. You can change your light colors. Right? This is much better than the... So it's much like the first join because they're both MTZ, MTCD, I guess. Uh, my last join only had like a handful of colors, and then the Seikane only had... You can change whatever color you want on the screen, but it was only white. Uh, screenshot settings. I don't even know where that was. Oh, you could turn the button on. They'll be up here. That's it. Well, I don't even know where it is. So, I don't know. I'm not turning that on. I don't want a screenshot. Oh, was it up there? Yeah, there you go, a little camera icon is your screenshot button. So yeah, I just took a screenshot. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll leave that on in case I see something here I want a screenshot. Personal location should be high accuracy, right? That makes sense. Security. You can turn off unknown sources. You can see your device administrators. Make sure there's no funky stuff in there. Standard. Uh, Google stuff, right? Account, you can see what's signed in here. So that should just be my Google account. No mysterious stuff. That is super bright and white. So, this is just your Google stuff, right? Language and input. English, personal dictionary. Standard stuff, right? Uh, keyboard. I change, this is where I change my keyboard. On here, I like the hollow blue style because that makes it blocky and it's easier to press on the screen. And you can turn on all these things and you know, one not, not turn off gesture typing because gesture typing is stupid. Back up and reset. That's if you want to do a full factory reset. If you want to back stuff up, I don't care about that on here. Uh, let's see. System. Date and time. That's where I have it set to. No, it should do GPS automatic to pay time. Oh, so yeah, so we're using the network or GPS, right? So it is 754. I said, like, I don't know why it doesn't show PM up here. I oh, wish it did. Granted, I don't know if it's PM or AM. I still like to see it. And. Hey, why don't I Alright, so. Choose your date format. Accessibility, that's just the uh, you know Android stuff. I don't use any of that. Navigation settings, this is where you pick what application you want to launch for navigation. Uh, even though there's not a navigation button here, but I'm still gonna pick maps because that's what I use. Okay. Uh, I don't know what navigation monitoring does. Don't know what sound mode does. I don't know what any of this stuff does. GPS monitor just takes you to check out your GPS signal. So I got some signal. That's all I care about. As I said before in other videos, I have this pretty sweet adapter that uses the Jeep's built in uh, GPS. So that's good. Uh, driving settings. This is cool. So you can make it so you can watch videos whenever you want. Uh, and so if you uncheck that you couldn't watch YouTube or stuff. I, mean, I don't know about YouTube, but the built in video player you couldn't watch. So but yeah, China doesn't care, you can do whatever you want, right? 
extra settings. So this is the auto sleep function that is the greatest. Uh, so I'll play music automatically when USB or SD inserted. Uh, I don't know what that, I guess that launches your, huh. maybe I will, I assume that launches the music player, but I wonder if that's anything to do with my USB got corrupted that one time. Reversing X mirror is where you change your, if your camera was backwards, you could swap it there, right? Reversing volume, sound attenuation, uh, that lowers the volume. Let me put in reverse. I like that. Reverse trajectory and trajectory we had problems before. And re re that just makes these lines happen. Uh, so there they are. If you turn this guy off, doesn't seem to make any difference. Uh, but if you turn this guy off, then the lines go away entirely. So, I know what this is supposed to do. It worked like a champ on the AK model. Like it really was great. Uh, I'm surprised at how well it worked. Uh, but it's nice to have lines. It's better than nothing. But the AK trajectory worked great. Uh, all right. So what we got here? Extra settings we covered. Amplifier. Okay, so your built-in settings. You got rock, pop, jazz, classic. Flat, voice, custom, rock. Uh, no hip hop. Uh, the sub would work if you had the sub plugged in. I have a sub, it's not plugged into the sub port. Fader, pretty standard stuff, right? It all works pretty good. Alright, so that works. There's a little loud switch over there. I don't really know what that does. Uh, like in old school devices, it would turn on a little built in amp. I thought, I don't know if this does that or some kind of software thing or what it is, but sometimes it makes it sound weird, so I'll turn it off. Sometimes it makes it sound great, I don't know, but then I'm afraid that it's gonna heat up my amp I already have in here, so I don't want it on. Stop bothering me. Steering wheel controls. If you have a device, this has been pretty consistent it, with the Seikane, the SATA Hot Audio, or Join. If you have a device with a pre wired CAN bus adapter, this does nothing. Now, if I took out that CAN bus adapter and used the pack module, I'm pretty sure I could reprogram everything because I could on the joins. But, like I said, everything seemed to work fine. The volume up and down is backwards. So that's standard for MPCD as well. Not the volume, track change up and down is backwards. Uh, which I think the Seikane did that too. Definitely the first join did. Uh, some people in forums said they just popped this little guy out uh, back here, but uh, behind the steering wheel and flip it around. I might try that. I was more concerned with I didn't have an option for play pause, but there's a great app called MCD. Well, it's not really an app. I guess it's an app. It's not the place towards phone. XDA MTCD tools that allowed me to map this uh, VR button, voice response button, here to play pause. So now I have the best of both worlds, right? And I can play pause here, and this side launches my phone. So I like that. Don't know why I put my finger right in front of that. Alright, so back to this guy. Steering wheel does nothing if you have the canvas adapter. You use a pack module, you can do the steering wheel controls. Factory settings, I showed you earlier, HCT reboot will reboot it here, or if you put in 126, it'll take you to some options here, right? So this guy is, I don't mess with any of that stuff. Car logo, you can change it from Jeep to something else. Jeep looks pretty good. I wonder what their Android one looks like. That's interesting. I don't know if this Android Carson multimedia is. That's interesting. The SATA. Uh, I'm not going to apply that because if you apply it, then it reboots. I don't want to reboot right now. Yeah, maybe I will. Let's apply it. Radio. This is where you change it to American settings or wherever you are, right? It does make a difference. Voice. 
So this, uh, I think someone mentioned in the forums, their radio was insanely loud. You can check the volumes of individual, individual components. So like the radio is way louder than your app or whatever, right? You can adjust the volume here. CAN bus, this is where you would change your CAN bus settings. I'm not messing with that because uh, obviously I'm driving a Chrysler Bagoo right now. Not really. Cheap Wrangler. So, but it works, so I'm just leaving it be. I don't know what left rudder means. Or right rudder. I assume that's your steering wheel. So, I feel like you could swap this volume track change button option here somewhere, but I don't want to mess it up because everything else seems to work pretty good. Key study. Uh, you can be really break some stuff here, right? So one of these two in panel key study. One of them adjusts the touch screen. I tried it and it didn't respond to anything. I had to like reset it through the reset hole and it was not pleasant, right? And one of the other ones will make you change these guys on the side, right? Like so, like this. Uh, these. So there's more stuff I don't change on the other key. So key study, other. Uh, like I said, I've tried changing some of these and a lot of this stuff. So this amp volume I may change if I put a different external amp in here. So I don't know. Either way, that's what we got. So I remember I applied the different logo for the reboot. So when I hit exit, it'll make me the machine is need reboot. Right? The machine is need reboot for right working. Do you want to re do you want reboot? Yes, I want reboot. So now it should have the DeSeta logo instead of the Jeep logo when it reboots. Anything you change inside this factory settings thing, it's going to make it reboot. If you didn't change anything, you wouldn't make it reboot. But it'll give me a good chance to see how my micro SD card handles a reboot. Alright, there you got your multimedia navigation. This should be the DeSeta logo. Yep. Uh, not going to keep that. Gonna go right back to that Jeep logo. Because that's uh, it's okay looking, I guess, but I prefer the Jeep. And I like how it's the silvery Jeep, like the Join had like a green Jeep that I didn't really care for. Alright, so I'm going to go right back to that menu. And let's go right back here, and we're going to cause yourself another reboot, right? Because we're going to go here, and we're going to type in. One, two, six, done. Okay. And you'll see, as soon as I change something, so if I just exit, it won't do anything, right? If I just exit, no problemo. Go back here, hit in the one, two, six. Okay. And change the car logo back to Jeep. Well, Android's kind of cool. I bet that does the whole dance and spin the androids. Whatever. I drive a Jeep. Let's put a Jeep logo, right? I'll change that later if I get so bored with it. But right now, I do like this Jeep logo. Apply, exit, and machine's gonna need reboot. Machines need reboot. What do you know? Alright, so there we go. Machine is needing re to reboot. And we reboot. See how it kind of like does the fake shimmer thing. It's kind of cool. So yeah, if you didn't have auto sleep, you'd go through this, whatever, 20, 30 seconds every single time you turned it. Not auto reboot, auto sleep. If you didn't have auto sleep, you would do this every time you reboot it. Every time you turn the power off, you would reboot every time, which I don't want to do, right? So, let's see. Alright, USB is still kicking. It's not corrupted. I like that. That's pretty bright. See, AccuWeather automatically updates first thing comes online. That's pretty. That's why I keep this widget, because it does better. So, the one weather widget on my old units wouldn't do that. It wouldn't update automatically. AccuWeather is the best of that, in my experiences. Alright, so we did all the settings there, except for this last guy. 
about machine. Well, like I said, this is wireless update option, but it doesn't seem to do anything. It does check for updates, so that works, but then it doesn't really tell you anything. Because I had an update available, didn't do it. And then system update, MCU update, didn't do anything. Uh, model number, Android version, it does this guy if you, you know, you want this little game. There we go. Watch how fast I die, boop. Let's try again. Boom. Stupid game. Alright, so security patch is pretty weak. We gotta up that game. Say Kane. Not say Kane. Hot audio, right? So we gotta fix that. But it is cool they have updates. Whatever they're updating their bugs, right? So that's that's where joining is pretty solid and as far as I can tell, Hot Audio is pretty solid as well. So they seem to have a lot of updates on XDA. Now Joing has their own website. Which is cool to have them there, but uh, as long as Hot Audio pumps them out and it is on XDA and has a lot of them there, and they're all line after line after line, and it was a pretty quick and easy update process. You gotta like that, right? Uh, yeah, let's try serial numbers. So I don't think you can steal my unit with that, but hey. CPU, OC, 8 core, octa core, 64 bit CPU core. Cortex 853, whatever, right? So we're good. And we got my 2 gigs of RAM for memory. So we like this, right? So we're doing pretty good for the old uh, guy here. So again, this is the not the default launcher. This is it. So if you want, oh, let me go. I'll show you how awful this regular launcher is, right? So here we go. Now we're at this awful launcher, right? You see how gross this guy is? There's no app drawer. This is it. All these little squares are at, right? There's no apps. So let's just go through here like this. It's weird. If you hold here, you go to your widgets and wallpapers and settings, but so you can put like widgets there, and they do have some weird widgets of their own. They're big and odd shaped, right? But I don't want to do that. So, alright, wait, 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 I've had enough. Can't take it go back home but look how easy it is to switch launchers so joining wasn't so easy to switch launchers on look at that right back to google launcher so that's great right look at our app list uh, file browser is unique to them a2dp is where you play your bluetooth music it works pretty good amplifier we already see auto video in that will be if i hook up a front camera which i plan on doing so we'll see that Bluetooth is where you set your, just like the old school join, you set your guy up here, you pair your device here. So, it's good. We like that. Calendar, I'm not going to use calculator. You want to use calculator, knock yourself out. I like doing math in my Jeep all the time. Uh, you can check out some CPU Z action if you want. People seem to like this guy. You can see your cores. Alright, and then we go to device, rock chip, PX5. System. Temperature. Uh, right, so it seems to be a lot lower than the other guys, right? So that's pretty good. You're doing something right. So we're good here. Uh, let's go back to our apps real quick. See what we got. Try to not belabor this video. Uh, there's this built-in gallery app, which is cool. I don't use a gallery, but there's, so there's two different DVR apps. I don't know why. I'll have to ask old DJ Quick why. Uh, I'll show you another. I'll make a separate video about this EC Connect stuff. GPS info. Shows you your GPS, right? So, that's good. This is the MTC, MTCD Tools app I told you about. So I did donate to this guy on PayPal, and I'm going to do it again, right? So uh, I did it on the old MTC, but this one will work too. So you just create a new binding, and then you press your button. 
Uh, maybe I'll make a video show you how to do this. So manage bunnies, right? So I just picked an action. I picked the play pause action and I pressed the button and I signed to it. It's pretty great. It really saved the day for this uh, hot audio unit. Alright, uh, navigation. Alright, so that's what the navigation will go, right? You push that navigation app and it goes right to your Google Maps. So I already have the Maps icon, don't need it. Uh, radio. Oh, wow. Pretty good looking interface for the radio. RDS works. You can save guys down here. I did that in the install video, right? So let's just do. So you can push up here, or you can hit buttons here. Sound seeker. I don't know. I don't listen to regular radio, so I don't know what any of these channels do. Okay. Right. So let's just slide over here, and I'll save it to. Think there you go. Nine one nine saved. Again, I don't listen to the radio, so as you can see, it sounds pretty good. I use an adapter, my own. It comes with their own, but I use my own because I already had it. So, uh, TPMS doesn't work. TV doesn't. I mean, they would work, but I don't have the things. Vehicle does nothing. Just the speed information. I don't know the. So I wonder if this would, if the car flyer would work if you had the Alpine. I don't have the Alpine, so I don't know. I don't know what any of this does. Well, maybe I'll ask called DJ quick. Uh, let's see. Videos, a video app. I don't have any video plugged in here. I went over and part of the install. You can see it there. Same thing for the music. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, their music app. Right. Wheel key studies, that same thing we just saw. And Waze works. Some people like to know about Waze. I'll probably make a separate video about how Waze works, right? So, like, let's just say, uh, you want to go to Waffle House, right? Everybody wants to go to Waffle House. There you go. We're finding Waffle House. All right. That changes based on the time. Yeah. Oh, well, we got Waffle House up and running, right? So, pretty good. And I don't want to do Waffle House anymore, so let's... Well, I still want Waffle House, I'm just not going to go. I've already had dinner. Maybe I'll go tomorrow morning, who knows. Alright, so... And YouTube works like you would expect YouTube to work. Uh, let's go to... I've heard this Mike Allen guy, it's great. Let's check out his videos. Oh man, look at those videos. Killing it. So yeah, you can see... Uh, I'm watching a video about this guy on this video, right? You can see. It's pretty good, right? Just like your phone app. Works fine. So, yeah. If that stupid app switch your button and come back, I'd be happy. So, let me take a screenshot here. And now I'm going to go back to the settings and get rid of the screenshot button. And let's see if my app switcher guy comes to. I still don't have app switcher. Yeah, the stupid brightness button, which I don't care about. Get rid of this brightness button, and I'll be happy, and they'll give me my button, right? And this I don't care about. I don't need that. Oh, I wonder if that's still my app switching for me. No, it's not. And now it just goes to settings, right? Alright, so, that's pointless. Because I want my app switcher button. That's the only problem I have with this unit with this Google Now launcher. Everything's pretty great. So, so far, pretty happy with the unit. Uh, as you can see, screenshots work. Appears like I'm downloading pretty solid to my Samsung micro SD card. We got four gigs downloaded. All right. So, I'll follow up in a couple days and see how if I've had any more corrupted cards. But so far, we're looking pretty good. All right. So, there's the unit. It's great. Uh, leave a comment if you want to know something about a specific detail. I'll try to do the easy connected. I'll show how to hook an iPhone up. Uh, I'll go over Bluetooth music. I'll have my other phone in here. Uh, it has its own browser, but I don't use it. I'm gonna, like here, I'll, let's see. I want to get rid of that stupid browser because I'm not going to use that browser. I'll just use Firefox. I'll use Chrome. Don't do a lot of web searching in the Jeep anyhow. I got the Google built in, so. 
Look at that. Disable that. See how sweet that was? Alright. So if I want something, I'll just search for it in Google, and then I'll find it. Right? So, there you go. Uh, you can see your widgets, right? Let's see your widgets. Just like normal. That's one thing, like, uh, see, uh, the drawing got weird about not having these kind of widgets. It wouldn't have the Google Play Music widgets or the Maps widgets, but this one does on the Google Nail Launcher, so looking pretty good. Alright, so that's all we got for now. I'll uh, update some more like.